What's up guys, Coach Ethan here. I got a question from one of my players in our private training group asking about knee pain. And he was really frustrated because he kept on getting recurring knee pain every single time that he was playing and he wanted to know what my thoughts were. If I knew anything that I could share with him to help him get past that knee pain. And I completely understand how frustrating knee pain can be. But in this video, I'm gonna share with you a few things you can do to help get rid of your knee pain and potentially even eliminate it. The first thing I'll say is that I'm not a doctor and I'm not an athletic trainer. Everything that I'm gonna share with you has helped me go from missing half of my freshman season in high school because of knee pain to completely eliminating my knee pain. So understand that. But also, like I said, I missed half of an entire season in high school because of knee pain. So I understand how frustrating it is, but that also allows me to really be able to help you guys who struggle with the same thing. So I'm gonna give you guys some exercises you can do that are really gonna help you. With that all being said, let's get into a couple more things before we get into the video. Number one, Make sure that you understand that sometimes knee pain is just gonna happen, especially if you're growing. That can just be a symptom of your bones and your muscles adjusting to the new growth that you have. So understand that sometimes it can be a little bit unavoidable, but at the same time, the stuff that you're gonna do is going to help you regardless. But you have to understand that it might not eliminate it completely, especially if you're in a place where you're growing a lot. And as a side note, make sure you check your shoes. What I mean by this is that back when I was in high school, I got a pair of the Curry Ones, and I love the shoe, I love the traction, I love everything about it, but there just wasn't enough cushioning in there, so every time that I would play in it, it would hurt my knees. So I had to switch back to a different shoe. So understand that if you get a pair of shoes and your knees start to hurt, listen to your body and switch up what you're wearing. Let's get into the rest of the video. Something you guys need to understand about knee pain is that it's not about your knees themselves. It's about the area surrounding your knees. What this means is that your knee pain isn't necessarily caused by your knees themselves, but it's actually caused by the area surrounding them. For example, you might have tight quads, which put unnecessary stress on your knees, or you might have really weak glutes, which also could put unnecessary strength on your knees, which is going to contribute to your knee pain. So all the stuff we're going to do in this video is going to work on stretching, which is going to allow you to alleviate some of that tension in those muscles and strengthening your glutes, which is also going to help you to take some of that pressure and stress off of your knees and put it into a muscle that's built to work for it. The first thing we're going to do is foam rolling. Now foam rolling is super important and it's really going to help you guys out not only with the way that your muscles feel, but it's actually going to improve your performance as well. Studies have shown that foam rolling decreases tension within the muscles and allows you to perform at a higher level in terms of speed and flexibility. And this is going to be a key to relieving any sort of tension in your muscles that is going to give you knee pain or anything like that. The first area we're going to foam roll is our inner quads. For me personally, this is the area that has the most tension that causes knee pain for me. A lot of times when I hit my inner quads with the foam roller, immediately my knee pain goes away. Now this might not be the case for all of you, but this is a very, very important area to hit. Now I want you also to make sure that you are on this area for at least 30 seconds before transitioning to your outer quads, which you'll see in the video as well. Really make sure you take the time to hit each area thoroughly to really get all that tension and stress out of those muscles. Now we're going to hit our outer hips. You want to do a good job to keep your bottom legs straight and we're going to hit those muscles around your waist in the front, middle, and back. Now we're going to hit our glutes. Your glutes are a critical area and one of the most common reasons people have knee pain. This is because your glutes are meant to bear the brunt of the force when it comes to you as an athlete. Running and jumping are really supposed to be glute dominated activities. However, when your glutes aren't firing at 100%, it's likely that you're going to have knee pain because other parts of your body are going to have to compensate. Make sure you really work hard on this one. When your quads become over involved with your movements, it's going to lead to knee pain. So we want to make sure that our quads aren't tight and pulling too much on our knee that's going to put us in a position to have knee pain. So now we're going to hit our quads with this stretch. Make sure you really keep your hip flexor extended and you really try and reach behind and even try and grab that foot. This stretch is going to hit our glutes, but more importantly it's also going to hit our outer hips. We're going to make sure our hips are nice and loose and open before we get moving and this is going to help to decrease your knee pain as well. 
Again, focusing on loosening up our hips, we're gonna stretch our hip flexors now. We're gonna make sure that we keep our back foot planted and we're gonna stretch that leg as far as we can. And as you can see, I'm opening up my upper body opposite of the leg that I'm stretching to get an even bigger stretch on the hip flexor. Now we're gonna loosen up our hamstrings. What you're gonna do here is you're gonna go down on one knee and keep your one foot planted and you're gonna try and push your chest as close to the ground as possible while keeping that knee bent to really get a nice stretch in that hamstring area. A major part of eliminating knee pain is making sure that your glutes are active and working like they're supposed to. So we're gonna get into some glute activation exercises here and the first one we're gonna do are band X walks. So you're gonna take a band and you're gonna step in and about shoulder width apart and you're gonna cross the band to make an X with your arms and you're gonna walk to the side. Now you wanna make sure that you take big steps, big controlled steps, but don't let your feet come too close together. And you're gonna go up and back to really hit both sides of this. Really make sure you keep tension on that band and really feel those glutes being activated. Now we're gonna get into some band leg lifts to further activate our glutes. What you're gonna do here is you're gonna take a band, you're gonna tie it around a pole or a bench or anything that won't move, and you're gonna put your leg in the other end of it. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to lift your leg going backwards, but you're gonna make sure that you're really contracting your glutes so that your glutes are the ones doing the work. You wanna make sure that you don't bend over and you try and stand as straight up as possible, and also make sure you keep your leg completely straight so that it doesn't turn into a hamstring exercise. Really make sure that your glutes are contracting and really working, and you should feel your glutes becoming more active. Now we're gonna do leg lifts to the side. Again, make sure you don't bend over too much, keep your legs straight. You should really feel your glutes and your outer hips working to lift your leg to the side. This is another great exercise to really make sure that those glutes and those outer hips are active and ready to do the work to make sure that your knees don't have to carry too much force. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe as well. I want all of you guys right now to click the link in my description and join our private basketball training group where I'm giving you guys personal coaching for me, free stuff, a ton of exclusive content you're not going to get anywhere else. So like I said, go ahead and join our group. The link is in my description below. It's 100% free and I'll see you guys in there. Like I said, if you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button. Hit this little black button right here to make it easy. I really appreciate it guys. And drop a comment for me. Let me know what you want to see next. That's it for me, guys. Peace.